We've covered many stations in this Mystical Station series, stations that have great historical significance, much artwork, and more. But I don't think that any of the stations we've covered so far on this channel are as architecturally impressive as this one, Jamaica Van Wyck. In this video, I take all of you on a tour of this station and show you why this is one of my favorite stations in the New York City subway system. Here we start on street level at the intersection of Kew Gardens Road and Metropolitan Avenue, where the main entrance to the station is located. It is a rather dull one, however much different than a standard subway entrance, with this one having a covered brick design. It includes two old NYCTA logos denoting the station's location, however one is blocked by this blue construction wall here. Instead of going down into the system through this entrance, let's take a walk down the Van Wyck Expressway. After crossing Jamaica Avenue and the infamous Jamaica Hospital, we arrive at 89th Avenue, the location of the second entrance to this station. The secondary entrance, about twice the size of the main one, includes two escalators, a staircase, and an elevator, all which lead you down to mezzanine level. Taking a short trip down the escalator leads us to a long walkway, one which is covered with this bright red brick design. This is one of the reasons I like this station, as the red bricks differentiate it much from the normal white tiling. Unfortunately, however, the years have not been kind to the station. Back when it was first constructed in the 1980s, it was brighter, cleaner, and was peak subway station design. Now, it is dark dim and definitely not a station you want to be at for too long. Walking further down, finally into the mezzanine area, we reach a suspended walkway, one that is held up only by these heavy duty cables. Ignoring the fact that we're currently floating over one of the subway tracks, we find an amazing view down onto the platform. As you can see here, the Jamaica Van Wyck station is served by the E-Train and is located just three stations down the line from its eastern terminus. Jamaica Center. Reaching platform level shows us in a more clear way just what the architects were going for with this station. It has a very airy feel and you have a lot of space on this platform. Much of the station's components are suspended from the ceiling which removes unnecessary beams and such from the platform. The station was built as a part of the Archer Avenue line extension, which branches off of the Queens Boulevard line just east of the Briarwood station. Jamaica Van Wyck was originally supposed to be a part of a greater project, one that would see the subway extended much further east, nearly to Long Island, ending at Springfield Boulevard. Because of the usual MTA funding issues, however, much of the line was cut. I think this topic would be great for a separate History of the Archer Avenue Line video in the future. Tell me down in the comments if you would like to see that video. Looking up, we can find remnants of skylights, however it seems they have been covered up. From what I've heard, they were covered because people started throwing objects through them on street level which ended up falling onto the tracks and causing fires, however I'm not sure if that's actually the case. In the comments section below. Tell me your thoughts on the Jamaica Van Wyck station. It being one of the newer stations in the system definitely has a role to play in it being one of the more architecturally interesting stations. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to get more from Mystic Transit, like, subscribe, and consider supporting me via channel memberships or super thanks. Special thanks to Stuart Guberman for supporting me at the two Broadway tier and Damien's Transit and Health Bar videos for supporting me at the Train Operator tier.